Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. Today we are talking about growth hacks for Pinterest in 15 minutes or less. This is part of our month long series, bringing you guys growth hacks on all the different platforms. But if you wanna learn what you should be doing on Pinterest, some good hacks, maybe you haven't tried it out before, you don't know where to begin, great video to watch for you. Keep hanging out, that's what we're doing today. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I won't let go till you say so. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell over on YouTube, where every week we are bringing you tips, tricks, and training so you can continue to grow your travel business, which is what I'm so passionate about. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Cindy Williams. I started in the industry almost 30 years ago, and I own and operate my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, but I'm best known for being the founder and CEO of Careers on Vacation, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and supersize as your travel businesses all over the world. And this month I wanted to do something really, really special, which was walk you guys through some quick hacks for a ton of the platforms. So we've already filmed uh, growth hacks in 15 minutes or less for Facebook, for Instagram, for TikTok, and did I forget one? YouTube. How can I forget YouTube? <laughs> Literally on YouTube. All good. And today we're doing Pinterest. So if you didn't check out those other ones, definitely check those out on the channel as well because it's a ton of great concentrated information in a short amount of time. But today we're leaning into Pinterest. Are you on Pinterest? Are you using it? One of the themes and one of the things that we've been talking about all month long is being a user of a platform is not the same as showing up as a business on the platform with a strategic goal in mind of how do I get eyeballs on my business? What do I need to do to strategically work within this platform so I can get the most bang from my, from my buck and also we're really talking about a lot of organic, so there's not a lot of pain or ad costs. We haven't talked about any of that all month long. A lot of the things that we're training is all free stuff that you guys can do. So if you haven't used Pinterest for your business before, the first thing you wanna do is set up a business account on Pinterest so you can get your business some visibility. We've talked about having um, a business page and lots of different platforms. You wanna do the same thing on Pinterest. You don't wanna use your personal page. You wanna create a, you create a page for your agency or for your travel business. If you have a logo or a company name and make sure that all of that's incorporated and whatever the branding is that you're using on your website, that you're using on different platforms, make sure that you have that branding continuity that's coming over to Pinterest as well. So whether whether I'm on Facebook or YouTube or TikTok or all these different places that you have that consistent through line of the same branding from place to place. So start with that from a fundamental perspective. Now, the second thing you want to think about is how do I start creating content or what should I put on my page? That's the most common question in my 12 week mastermind that I get is like, what do I put on in all these places right now that we've built, the, we teach people how to build out the architecture and do all of those things. And then it's like deer in the headlights, like what do I put on Pinterest compared to Instagram, compared to Facebook? So the cool things for Pinterest that you can do is you can actually see what's going viral in other platforms. A lot of times Pinterest hits the trend list a little bit later because it's more of a visual, arts and crafts, DIY, shopping for something in particular kind of platform. So sometimes the trends carry over a little bit later. But see if, is there a trend about a certain travel location? Has something changed recently or something gone viral in the travel world that you could then bring over and kind of repurpose? Don't copy, right? Create your own version. But is there something going on in the world travel-wise that people are talking about that you can show in a creative way on Pinterest? So look for that viral content on other platforms and think about repurposing or leveraging it on Pinterest. That's a great tactic for Pinterest. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that you are embedding your pins in your blog, if you have a blog, or on your website, okay? 
that helps create that backlink kind of culture and it helps you get more eyeballs on your pins and it gets them out to different places and it really helps in the overall algorithm from that perspective. So make sure you do those. If you don't have a blog yet and that seems overwhelming, I get it, like that's another video, but most of you will have a website. So think about introducing some of your pins or even your page or even if there's an op opportunity for a social share icon on your website or on different platforms, you always wanna kind of cross populate. For example, you can follow us on all the places. You constantly see me sharing, let's see where my thing is, yeah. You constantly see me sharing all of my icons out. That's very purposeful because one, I want to connect with you guys in different ways. On Instagram, I'm showing behind the scenes and kind of where we're traveling and what's going on. On Pinterest, I might find some really well curated things that I'm sharing that will be in a different way. But that's a cool thing. Think about using those little icons where you can pop them up and people, if they are already a Pinterest user, they'll go, oh, let me go check out the Pinterest page, right? Very cool. So you want to think about that. Now, the last thing that you definitely want to do if you're not doing this already, especially if you've been a user on Pinterest, you probably know, you know, if you're looking at a new pair of shoes or um, a beautiful pot to plant flowers in, and it will have a link on there that will send you to where the pot is being sold. Did you know that you can do that exact same thing to actually send that what we call in marketing world, we call that sending the traffic in a different direction. So when they find your beautiful travel pin, whether it's a, a viral, uh, you know, travel trend, or maybe it's something curated or one of your pictures from one of your trips in your phone, right? Whatever the pin is, you can actually link your business. I'm actually going to show you how to do that. I think I can do that in under 15 minutes. I know the timer's running, but I want to show you guys what that looks like. So let me pull up my Pinterest behind the scenes here. All right, so we have our Pinterest page here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a new pin. So as you can see, I'm on the Tripsy Travel Pinterest page. If I wanna create a new pin, I can click this little plus sign and click create a pin. And now what you can do, I think I have some pictures saved on the side here. Give me one sec. Actually, let's pull this one of Ireland. Yay. All right, perfect. So we have this beautiful photo, right? Now, if I want to uh, create a pin, I've already dragged the photo. Ireland in the spring. And then you can type something around about the pin if you want to, right? And now here's the part that I was talking about, adding a destination link. So I can actually add Tripsy's website in here and save this post. So now once I save this, if people come across this post online when they click on the picture, they can click on the link and it will send them right over to my website. So I'll show you how this works. And you could get into promotion too, but that's a video for another day. So I'm gonna take a peek at this and then see how it says Travel Tripsy. If they click that, voila, it brings them right over to my website where they can now make an appointment and they can learn a little bit more about our business. So that's the beautiful thing about Pinterest is that uh, you can link any of those creatives that you share, that's how you link it and direct the traffic to you as a travel advisor. So, and I really wanna say, if this is helping you and you've watched the series all month long and you really are loving how we're bringing you some tips and tricks, but you wanna take a deeper dive, you wanna show up in this online market space in a bigger way and you really wanna grow and scale your travel business with real systems, real processes, a real marketing machine, and once all the traffic starts coming in, even learn what to to do with that in your travel business, I want to tell you about Careers on Vacation. This is my 12-week mastermind program where you get to work with me to learn how to start, grow, and supersize your travel business the right way and how to show up in this online space in a really powerful way where it equals you more clients and more profits. The beautiful thing about our program is you get to work with real humans. You're seeing them on the screen right now. This is my amazing team that's helped me grow my brand from multiple six figures to multiple multiple seven figures, you get to work with the same team. And we are so proud to have going almost 200 uh, case studies 
uh, are you kidding me? We have the most case studies for results in the industry for the type of work that we do. We are so proud of that, but also that's, that's my jam. We are all about getting you guys results when you work with our company to grow to any level that you want to grow to. So if that's on your heart to do that this year, I really encourage you to reach out to us at cruiseonvacation.com slash ready now to apply for Cruise on Vacation. How that process works is you're going to have an enrollment uh, coach call you and we're going to really understand what your goals are. If we can help you, we will talk to you about the application process. If not, we'll still give you some great tips and uh, advice on what you should do for your particular custom business. We really believe that every business is a little bit different. So we want to understand your vision and make sure it makes sense to work together. And if you are thinking about Cruise on Vacation, guys, we've been on wait list for over uh, a year, a wait list every single month. We only have so many spots we can fill. So please, if you're thinking about getting into the mastermind anytime in the next eight weeks, please get your applications in early. That's really, really important because we only, we, we cut the classes at a certain level because we want to keep the magic that is Cruise on Vacation and, and have it at a certain size. So please get those applications in early. So guys, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Even if you're not going to do careers on vacation, I hope this content is helping you so much in growing your business. And I want to tell you wherever you are in the world, I wish you so much love. I wish you so much abundance. I wish you the world. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.